So I'm just going to show you how to make a really cool electrical uh, text effect. So to start, let's go up, just go up to File, New, and uh, create a new document. I'm just going to name it Electric Ice. Good. And uh, 1000 by 500 is good for what I'm doing. 8-bit, uh, whatever. OK. And then go up to Edit, Fill, and fill it with a black color. And then we're just going to create some text. So the text tool. And I'm just going to spell out ICE, all capital letters. And base oh, uh, by the way, the text I'm using is Blue Highway Lino Cut. Anyways, uh, let's just grab our little cursor tool and just position it here. That looks good. Now, while holding Control or Command if you're on a Mac, and click on your te your ICE layer or text layer, and that'll just select it all. And then go to Filter, Blur, Gusson Blur, and it'll say that you have to rasterize the layer before you can... Uh, apply the, uh, the filter or whatever, just hit OK. And then we just want to apply enough blur. Again, I'm not going to give you an exact value because it'll be different depending on your uh, how big your document is and uh, all that stuff. You just want it to be kind of nice and, uh, yeah, a nice smooth look here. So for me, maybe 6.5 or so is good. And just hit OK. And then Control D to just select everything or Command D if you're on a Mac. Basically, anytime I say Control, if you're on a Mac, just hit Command. And then uh, you'll notice I have two separate layers here. We're going to merge those together. Just hit Control E, and that looks good. Now what we're going to do is go up to Filter, oh, Stylize, and Solarize. That'll just kind of invert the uh, the white and the different shades of gray. So, uh, anyways, then we'll go up to Image Adjustments and Levels, and then just hit this little Auto button here, and that'll just brighten it up a little. And hit OK. And if you're in like a CS2 or I think CS3, I've never, I have, haven't actually used CS3 that much, so I'm not sure. But I know CS2, you'll have an auto auto levels uh, choice, just I think right below the levels or something like that. So now what we're going to do is just go to Filter, Stylize Wind, and just apply Wind from the right or from the left. doesn't matter. You just have to keep it consistent. consistent. Hit OK. And then we're just going to hit Control F. And that'll just repeat what we just did. And now we're going to rotate our image. So image, rotate canvas, 90 degrees. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Again, you just have to be consistent with the direction you rotate it. And then hit Control F, Control F. That'll just apply the filter two more times. Rotate your canvas again, same direction. Control F, Control F. Same thing here. And then just rotate it back to your starting position. You'll notice we have this kind of crazy, icy look. It's not done yet though. This looks okay, but it's kind of uh, square and doesn't look the best. So we'll just go up to Filter, Stylize, Glowing Edges. And then you'll just have to play around with this until you get something you like. Edge Brightness, and you just have to play around with this. Uh, good. Something like that. Hit OK. And then go up to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance, and then just color it like this. Ooh, maybe not quite that much. So anyways, this is the one look you can get. You can get the really full look. Uh, it's just kind of all over the place. Or if you want to, this is the other thing you can do. You do, do the exact same thing uh, right here. Except what we're going to do this time is just apply the wind once. OK. And rotate canvas. Control F. Rotate, Control F, rotate, Control F, and rotate, and good. So now you'll notice when we apply the stylized glowing edges. I don't know, you'll just have to play around with it, see what you like the look of better. Uh, this one's not quite as full. You can see the text a little better. Hit OK. I like the look of this one better personally, but you'll just have to play around with them. And then just color it any way you want with the uh, color balance, by the way. There we go. Uh, so that's it. I'll just zoom on, zoom in on it here so you can get a good close look at it. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool, kind of electric-y but icy. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Uh, yeah, I think that's it.